Hey, thank you for watching. My name is Dylan. Uh, I'm a real estate broker in Temecula. Uh, I live here in Fallbrook. And uh, today I'm going to talk to you a bit about the uh, process and the strategies used to help you navigate selling your home and buying a new one um, and doing it at the same time. Uh, my clients in this uh, situation always have the same uh, two concerns, uh, maybe three. And those are uh, number one, being stuck with two homes at the same time. Number two, it is owning zero homes, uh, having sold your home and having nowhere to go. Um, and then the third one is uh, successfully completing the process of selling and buying a new one, but having to move twice, put stuff in storage or in a pod or live with family uh, or rent an apartment for a short period of time. So um, anyways, today I'm going to take a few minutes and just talk to you about the two strategies I use uh, to avoid those things for my seller slash buyer combo clients. Um, the first uh, tactic used is uh, what's called the double contingency. And uh, quite simply, it's a contingency on each transaction. It's a contingency on the sale of your current home, and it's another contingency on the purchase of your new home. On the sale of your current home, the contingency says to the buyer, hey, I'm happy and willing to sell my home to you at the price and terms that we agreed upon unless I don't successfully find a new home. And if I don't find a new home, then we may cancel this agreement and both move on with our lives. Now, on the other side, on the purchase of your new home, the contingency looks about the same. And it says uh, with us as buyers now, we say to the seller, hey, look, I'm selling my home, so I'm willing and able to buy your home unless I can't successfully sell my current home for whatever reason, whether it be the buyers losing their job and losing financing, the buyers just changing their mind or backing out due to a home inspection issue, regardless of what reason the buyer may back out, we may cancel the commitment to buy the home from the seller under that contingency. So that's the double contingency. The, uh, excuse me, the second tactic used is uh, the extended possession period. And the extended possession period is basically a free occupancy for yourselves on and after the sale of your current home. So in a typical seller situation, uh, the scheduled closing day might be the 31st of the month. So in the typical uh, situation, you are, as a seller, required to be completely moved out of the house by 6 p.m. on closing day. But of course, we want to close escrow on a new home, which happens at best the next business day. So what we negotiate with the buyers of your current home is give us a free occupancy after the closing day of the sale of our current home so that we can do a few things, so that we can close escrow on our new home, uh, clean our new home, maybe paint our new home, maybe put new floors in our new home, and prepare it for us to move into, give us time to actually move into our new home, and then give us time, you know, maybe a day or so, uh, to schedule cleaners to have our previous home clean so we can give it to the new buyer clean. And uh, that might be 10 days, it might be 15 days, um, I had a situation uh, this year with a seller-buyer combo client uh, where it was a month and a half long. So for a month and a half, my sellers lived in their previous home, because remember, they don't own the home anymore. Uh, they lived in their previous home for a month and a half for free while they very casually moved into their new home and uh, they did a few repairs on their new home before they moved into it. And then they cleaned their uh, previous home really well before they gave the keys to the new buyer. So anyways, the two strategies used for you in this situation and me, uh, if I uh, had the privilege to represent you, uh, would be the double contingency and it would be the extended possession period. So um, a little bit about me as I close out. Um, again, I'm a real estate broker. I've been a broker for maybe eight months now and uh, I've been a real estate agent for about three, three and a half years. Uh, before that. 
Um, I've been blessed with a couple accolades in the last uh, year or so. Um, one is the Rookie of the Year um, by Southwest Riverside County, um, the, the Rising Star Award. Um, and then finally, uh, I was ranked the 58th uh, realtor by production um, in Temecula. And that's out of uh, about 3,800 real estate agents. Um, so anyways, I've built my business on simply doing the right thing and building a reputation that's gonna last me a long haul. Um, I'm, a, I'm a young guy and so it's really important that I do the right thing so that I can build my business for the long haul. And uh, that's one of the things that I value and take into account when I'm working with uh, people like you who may not come from a referral or a past client. So um, anyways, I'm always doing my best and uh, working as hard as I can. I would love the opportunity to speak to you more about the sale of your current home and purchase of your new home and talk to you a little bit about other ways I can help you as a seller uh, maximize your profit and uh, what tactics I use for marketing and showings and negotiations. And the same thing on the purchase side, uh, some of the tactics I'm using to give my buyers properties that aren't yet listed in the MLS where uh, there may not be a bidding war. And then also if there is a listing on the MLS, uh, how I'm beating out offers. Um, so anyways, again, my name is Dylan. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Um, I have more videos similar to this one if you'd like to learn more. Um, I can leave a link to that uh, in the description of this video post. And then finally, I'm always a call away. Uh, my cell number will also be in the video post and uh, I'd love to hear from you, hear a little bit more about how I can help you and uh, talk to you about what your real estate goals are. Thanks again for watching. Look forward to speaking with you.